Welcome, welcome back to another piano lesson with Warren. Today we're going to take a look at how you can add some flares and some, some gospel style playing to your CCM songs. We know that CCM is the thing right now. Every church has adopted some form of CCM into their um, music structure. Some church has gone full CCM. And as we know, the chords for CCM aren't generally complicated. It stays pretty diatonic, one, four, five, one, six, two, five. And so how can we add some stuff to it without taking away from the song, without making it non-CCM? So today, the song that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how you can add some gospel flair to it. We're going to gospelize it a little bit, just a little, so that it sounds almost modernized or gives it a new feel without making it too much gospel or ruin it from being CCM. And the stuff that I'm going to show you, you can pretty much do even if you're playing in a band, you know, so the, the, the rest of the band don't even have to change the chords or anything. It's just going to be how we utilize rhythms and riffs and, and, and grace notes. And you know, we're going to throw a little bit of passing chords in there as well. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So the song we're going to take a look at today is Goodness of God by Bethel Music. Um, it's a song that's been around for a while. I'm looking at YouTube right now and I can see that it has 110 million views. And this particular video was uploaded four years ago. I'm guessing that's when the song came out. I'm not quite sure, but that's a lot of views. So it's a very popular song, which means Virtually every church probably is, is doing a version of this song. And so the stuff that I'm going to show you today is directly applicable to that. So here we go. I'm going to play through it. And I'm just going to, going to add some stuff. And then we'll go back and talk about what I'm doing. All right. So here we go. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails. I've been held in your hand From the moment I wake up Till I lay my head And I will sing The goodness of God And all my life I have been faithful <laughs> I just throw in that gospel thing at the end. I probably wouldn't do that in a, uh, an actual service, but everything else. So, do you hear how it sounded? How I was able to utilize rhythms? And I didn't really pull too much on chord extensions and passing chords, but I just, I put my flair on it, which is, you know, what I call sort of gospelizing, where you kind of, Use some some of sort of the the, the the more gospel style rhythms and those those grace note stuff, and then obviously you know I uh, I change some of the voicings of the chord because the song's pretty straightforward. It just starts. I love you, Lord. So 
So if that's how you've been playing it, and you're like, I want to be able to do some stuff, but I'm not sure. So one of the first thing I'm doing, I'm making all my major chords add nine. So you see, I'm putting in that nine right here. Some people call it add two, but it's really add nine. And I, in my uh, uh, tutorial, um, what's it called? A chord theory. Yeah, I posted it a few weeks ago. And in that, I talk about the add nine and why it's add nine and not add two. So if you want to learn more about that, you can check out that tutorial. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video. But here we go. So I'm adding the ninth to all of that. I love you, Lord. Now, another thing I'm doing, apart from the add nine, I'm avoiding going back to my one chord all the time in root position. I'm doing that a lot of the time. And this is a first inversion add nine version of the chord. Sounds nice. So, and I go, I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fail me. See that? It just sounds prettier and, and interesting then just go back to the one chord. You know, if you have a bass player, the bass man can always go back to the one. That's fine. You don't have to. Or even if you're doing solo piano, this voicing in this chord works nicely. You Lord. Right? But your mercy never failed me. Then when I come to my sort of passing to go to six, this, this walk down, I am doing that. So it's a five chord in first inversion, and again, we're adding the nine, right? So love you, Lord, for your mercy never failed me. I go straight to now, all my days. And right here, instead of just playing a straight a minor chord, play a minor six, a minor, a minor nine, actually. So I'm doing... So, and it just sounds, this is a minor nine. This is a standard sort of like jazzy R&B gospel chord, but you see how I'm using it in CCM songs, right? So we have that. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we can use a minor nine here, right? Sometimes I might even use the minor 11, but then I resolve it. Going back to my four. So in context, it would sound like, I love you, Lord, for your mercy never failed me all my days. I am held in your hand. On that five, five sus, then to resolution. And that's nice little arpeggio left hand. Right? So. From the moment I wake up. That's cool. That's straight gospel right there. Something you'd hear in a gospel song. So the progression just going to a, from a six to a four. From the moment I wake up. Well, we can, we can put some, some movement there, right? So we can do from the moment I. And now I'm doing is starting with a minor 11, right? Then I'm using this passing, first inversion, right? This A flat first inversion. And and not taking my four, but you see, I'm on my grace notes, stuff like that. So from the moment I wake up till I lay right here, till I lay my head, and that's where we're putting the two five passing to get to my six. So from my four, I'm going down to my again one in first inversion, and I'm doing a. Seven, three, six, basically, or two, five, pass, and going to six. That is like a G nine sus four, 
sus2, sus4. Now g9, sus4. And then, and this is just a c9. Sometimes I might voice it up here and flick that middle note and then resolve to some variation of my F minor. So from the moment I wake up till I lay my head and I will sing of the goodness of God. A lot happening right there. So we get that seven, three, six. Now I'm just walking this all the way down to four. Right? One and second inversion. See? But then I just add that on top. Because I'm thinking melodic lines as well. Then that takes me to my four. Walk down. Then. So one more time. And sometimes I do. You know, these are just little, little gospel flair. To my five. So a little bit faster in context. In the moment I wake up, till I lay. Say that one more time from the top. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never failed me all my days. I am held in your hand from the moment I wake up till I lay my head and I will sing of the good. And all my life, so you see that turn, that little passing I do use to get to my four. Goodness of God, two, three, ah, ah, ah. So I'm just walking up the chords from my one to my two. And these are all minor sevens. So we're, we're graduating from triads. Turn all your minor chords sevens, right? One in first inversion to the four. And all my life I have been faithful. One more time. And all my life I have been so, so good. Right there, so. And all my life I have been. One in first inversion. Do this inner voice chromatic movement. To just a dominant two as a passing to go to five. So good. Then you can to take you back to four, right? Right? So you see how I'm utilizing this one in first inversion all the time as a passing to go to four? That's pretty common in gospel music. And you can transfer all these scales over to CCM, right? So those are all the chords right there. Now there's a lot more you can do, but personally, I wouldn't go beyond that. For me, that's gospelization of CCM. I feel like that works nicely. It fits. A singer wouldn't have to change what they're doing. The band wouldn't have to. You probably would have to give the bass player a heads up because it would sound better if the bass followed with some of these chords. Outside of that, everything works. Right? And then they have this one. Your goodness is running now. Running after me, your goodness is running after, is running after me. Da, 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 da. Your 
I was doing a bunch of stuff right there. Let's see if we can back it up. So, you know. I probably wouldn't do that version. Because the melody's a... Right there, right? So, if you want, you can play that, you know? Give you everything, and you can play that scale over that diminished chord. And I'm doing so that's the scale, really. And the way I like to think about this is a Phrygian flat four. Because this is a Phrygian mode. And I'm just flattening the four, this to this, so. Right? So, So this is the diminution walk. It starts to get a little bit too much. I probably wouldn't go that far with all of that. But that scale on that diminished chord totally works, right? And then that takes us back to that chord. So this was a sort of like an experimental thing where I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take this song and just see what we can add to it to give you guys an addition, some additional flavor, right? A beautiful song. Um, and that's just probably how, as far as I would go with it for the gospelization of the CCM. Now, if you like this tutorial, if you like all of this stuff and you wanna see me do this with other CCM song, let me know. Comment down below the different type of song, or you can just post links to the songs that you think could use some interpretation from a gospel perspective. So I can show you, because my thing is, you know, if you're gonna be playing these songs in church anyways, might as well have some fun with it, right? But again, my thing is, you don't wanna to go too wild where the song becomes unrecognizable. But there's a lot of opportunities for just how you utilize rhythms and grace notes, and even chord extensions for CCM song. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. When you subscribe to the channel, it helps the channel grow. So I can continue to put out free tutorials, give you guys tips, tricks, and ideas on stuff like this. So hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I post the stuff. In addition to that, if you're struggling to figure out chords, like if you're playing chords, you're not quite sure what the names are or how to go about extending the chords, I have a great PDF that I think you should download. I call it the seven steps to naming any chord. This is a free PDF. The link for that is in the description of the video. Seven steps to naming any chord. Click the link down below, download that. And lastly, if you're struggling with your piano playing, you're looking for some structure, you definitely want to check out PianoLessonWithWarren.com. Gospel music doesn't have to be throw things on the wall and see what sticks. There is actually a structure to learning piano. Well, without having to even learn music notation and any of that stuff. And this is what I provide over at PianoLessonWithWarren.com. So if you want to take your playing to the next level, check out PianoLessonWithWarren.com 
I guarantee you, you won't regret it. All right? And so till then, keep listening, keep singing, keep practicing, because that is how you'll continue to grow as a musician. Bye for now, and have a blessed week.